Ladies and gentlemen, the pleb is back in this report. Well, Trudeau's career is completely imploding as new polling data suggests that Trudeau is projected to lose his own riding in Papineau. Also tonight, Pierre Polyev unveils his new housing plan and plans to cut GST for new home buyers. And the plan is so good that Trudeau will probably steal it. You won't want to miss this report. Stick around. Before we start this report, guys, if you want the real news, please smash subscribe. My channel is currently being shadow banned. People are having a hard time searching my videos and notifications are not going out. So I can use all the help I can get. So if you want to support the real news here, smash subscribe and let's start the report. Before we get into this report, I just want to take a moment and give a shout out to Moose on the Loose. Yesterday, we spent three hours on the phone together and had one of the best conversations I've had in a very long time. This dude is humble, he's chill, and we share a lot of the same values. And in the future, we're definitely going to work on something together, whether it's an interview on one of my live streams or a video. We are definitely going to collab the pleb and the moose on the loose. Tonight's first story brings me absolute joy to bring to your life. It's the kind of story that just makes me smile as I prepare it. And it's the kind of story that I know is going to make you smile and is going to make your day better. Look at this. Per Angus Reid's latest polling and polling Canada here, says this Angus Reid poll in Quebec is pretty brutal for the Liberals. Even Trudeau loses his seat and has the Bloc Québécois on the rise. Now, if you look at the map, I'll zoom it in here for you guys. But yes, this right here is Trudeau's riding of Papineau. And guess what? It's looking like it's heading towards the NDP. Yep. Trudeau is about to lose his seat to Jagmeet Singh's party. But like every good infomercial seller would say, wait, there's more. Right above Justin Trudeau's map is the riding of a Hunsik Cartierville, the riding of Melanie Jolie. Let's go see how it's going for her. OMG, folks, look at this. Look over here. The riding of a Hunsik Cartierville here is leading to the Bloc Québécois. So not only is Trudeau projected to lose his seat, so is Melanie Jolie. This is incredible. And the people are quite happy here, per the comments underneath that post, saying, what a way to go out. Michael says, that's one way to get rid of a prime minister. Hugo writes, you reap what you sow. Boom. People are happy, man. Ricky writes, R.I.P. Bozo. <laughs> Tybernickus writes, L.O.L. My last one from Dr. Michelle, she writes, that's great news. Thanks for brightening my day, truck driver pleb. So yes, folks, it's completely unraveling right now for the liberals, but someone it's not unraveling for right now is none other than Pierre Polyev, who today announced his new plan. He wants to make Canadians pay no GST on new homes under 1 million, saving you up to 50 grand. Let's go see Pierre Polyev's latest plan. Imagine this, you wake up one morning and open your phone to look up the new home listings, only to discover something shocking. Everything has doubled. Mm. Yet this isn't fiction. It's reality for hundreds of thousands of desperate people looking to be homeowners after nine years of the NDP liberals. Rents have doubled. Mortgage payments have doubled. The minimum down payment needed for the average new home has doubled. Double trouble. <laughs> Under the NDP Liberals, housing costs in Canada have outpaced people's incomes by more than any other G7 country. Let's take a look at what that means. Nine years ago, it would have taken you 25 years to pay off a mortgage. 
Today, it takes 25 years just to save up for a down payment. Wow. Three out of five Canadian renters have completely given up on the dream of home ownership. And 80% of Canadians believe that owning a home is now reserved just for the very rich. It's true. In Vancouver, you now need to earn $219,000 just to qualify for a mortgage on an average home and just shy of $200,000 in Toronto. This is the housing hell that the NDP Liberals have created, and it's not a global problem. It's made in Canada. Look how much worse things have gotten in this RBC chart. It shows that back in October of 2015, the month when Justin Trudeau won his election, it only took 39% of the average family's income to make payments on the average home. Now, it takes 60%. In Vancouver, it takes 98.6% of the average family's pre-tax income. Is this real? 98% of your pre-tax income? What? To make payments for the average home. In Toronto, it's 77%. After taxes, there's nothing left over. And speaking of taxes, they're one of the biggest reasons why housing is so expensive in the first place. Let's look at the tax facts. Taxes on new housing accounts for about 30% of the cost of a new home in Ontario and British Columbia. The federal government takes the biggest share, about 39% of the total taxes on a new home built in Ontario goes to the feds. This means that politicians and bureaucrats are making more money on the sale of a new home than are the carpenters and electricians who actually build the homes. Wow. No wonder housing is so expensive in this country. One of these taxes that adds so much of the cost to homes is the sales tax. When the GST was introduced back in 1991, the government offered a GST new housing rebate for homes up to $450,000. Back then, 95% of houses qualified at that low threshold, but not anymore. According to Stats Can, the cost of a new home is up 120% since 1991, with most of those increases having happened in the last nine years of the NDP Liberal government. But the rebate thresholds have not changed from that $450,000 cap. Good luck finding a house for four hundred and fifty grand today. <laughs> but it gets worse. True. Currently, when the federal government charges GST on a new home, they are charging a tax on other taxes already charged by other levels of government. The sales tax was never meant to apply to the essentials of life, like groceries, for example. Mm. Yet, you pay it on the most essential thing of all, a home. Wow. That's why today, common sense conservatives are announcing that we will ax the federal sales tax on all new homes sold for under a million dollars. That is right, zero GST on new homes under a million dollars. Here's what it will mean. On an $800,000 home purchase, this conservative tax cut will save you a total of $40,000 or $2,200 a year in mortgage payments. And I'll push the provinces to match this tax cut by axing their sales tax on the cost of your new home, saving you tens of thousands of dollars more. Let's go. Less money for big banks and greedy governments, more money for you and your family. This tax cut on new homes will spark 30,000 extra homes built every single year. You're probably asking, how do we pay for that? Common Sense Conservatives will fund this big tax cut for home buyers by ending failed liberal housing policies, like their Housing Accelerator Fund, which gives money to big city governments that block housing construction with red tape. The NDP Liberal Housing Ministry even admitted this program doesn't actually build homes. Uh, it's also important to understand the Housing Accelerator Fund doesn't go toward the cost of building houses. A two-year-old announcement for the Housing Accelerator Fund. The Housing Accelerator completions? Fund doesn't actually directly build homes. There's $3 billion left in this program. It should go to home buyers and builders, not to city hall bureaucrats. You'll also cancel other multi-billion dollar housing programs that have built no housing whatsoever. 
and the 30,000 extra homes the tax cut spurs will generate more income tax revenue from the businesses and workers who build the homes. Common sense conservatives will axe taxes to build homes. You will have the government's hands out of your pocket and a roof over your head. And we will restore Canada's promise that hard work earns a powerful paycheck that buys affordable food and homes in safe neighborhoods. That's common sense. Let's bring it home. I like it. Another banger video here. Well done, Pierre. And after releasing this video here, Pierre Polyev held a press conference today in which the press asked him which programs he's going to cut to make up for this GST tax that he's getting rid of on new homes. And here's what he had to say. Mr. Paul, I have Michael Couture from CTV News. I wanted to know if you can confirm, uh, first of all, that this your plan that you're proposing today will save $8 billion annually. Uh, also, uh, can you list the programs that you'll be cutting to get to this number? And please, en anglais et en français. So it will save $8 billion over... We're going to cut two programs for sure and more beyond that. One, the Accelerator Fund has $3 billion left in it. It has been a disastrous program that has led to less home building and more local bureaucracies. Um, $3 billion will be saved from that. And then the housing infrastructure fund that hasn't built any infrastructure or any housing and hasn't even instituted any uh, announcements. Uh, they have it, they're not even accepting applications yet. <laughs> Six months after it was announced, what they're wow. doing with the money is building up a big fat bureaucracy in Ottawa. That will be gone. So that's a total of $8 billion over several years. Then we expect uh, that we will collect about $2 billion more as a result of the 30,000 additional homes that will be built year after year because of this highly stimulative tax cut. It's going to spark more home building. Mm -hmm. which means more workers and businesses will be making money building homes. And therefore, at the existing rates, they'll be paying more into the system. So this includes about six, sorry, about $16 billion in additional revenue and lower cost to the taxpayer, which is about the cost of axing the sales tax on home building over the next four years. Thank you. Look, I'm not going to pretend to be some kind of financial expert here. I'm just going to say this. Pierre Polyev wants to cut taxes. I'm in. Pierre Polyev wants to reduce the size of the government. I'm in as well. So that's going to be a wrap here for today's report. But I want you to tell me in the comments down below, do you think it's possible that Trudeau could actually lose his seat at the next election? Is this just an anomaly a one-off poll here. Do you think this could actually happen? Tell me in the comments. Also, Pierre Polyev's housing plan to cut the GST. Are you guys on board? Do you guys like the plan? What do you think he could do better? I want to hear it in the comments. If you want to support my channel, you know how to do it. Like, share, comment, subscribe, or buy a $5 Canadian membership. My name is The Pleb, and I'll see you at the next one. Peace.